Hey guys, it's Arena Ime here. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, welcome to Aroma Talks. And well, if you're a returning member, thank you so much and welcome back. I'm here today to give a recipe that I use for my very own deodorants. I have a sensitive skin and so I decided to be making my very own deodorants at home. All natural and chemical free deodorants that I've actually found to be a wonderful replacement for any other deodorants. You know you can make this at home with the stuffs that you already have in your kitchen. It's very simple to make and cost effective. So I thought I would share with you guys today showing you how I do make mine. So we're gonna need a few ingredients and one of them is coconut oil. Coconut is fantastic. It's a great moisturizer first of all, feels great on your skin and it also has antibacterial properties. So this is going to be the base for our deodorant. The next ingredient is baking soda, which is almina free. It's going to absorb the funny smell that sweat tends to create. And it too is antibacterial. Then our last ingredient is starch. You could use potato starch, you could use tapioca, but for me I'm using cornstarch. Yeah, it's gonna absorb the sweat. So cornstarch is basically a natural sponge. Now let's go ahead and mix everything together. First you're gonna make sure you use a plastic bowl. Do not use a glass bowl. So first we're gonna put our coconut oil into our mixing bowl. The next we put our baking soda and we're gonna do third cup of baking soda. Go ahead and add in your cornstarch. Also, I'm gonna go with third cup of cornstarch today. Then mix everything together. You want to make sure you mix everything together until you get the consistency that you really want. So now I go ahead and add in my essential oil drops and today I'm gonna go with tea tree essential oil because it's also antibacterial but this step is optional if you really don't like essential oils then just skip this step but if you love essential oils as much as I do then go ahead and add in your favorite essential oil drops so now our deodorant is ready. This is the consistency that we really want. Let's go ahead and transfer this into our containers. Depending on the weather where you live, you can uh, do two different options for storing your deodorant. If you're living in a warmer weather, it's best to use a glass bowl because coconut oil melts at room temperature. 
if the temperature is cool outside you can use a old deodorant stick and it stays nice and solid So I'm gonna go ahead and refrigerate this for about seven hours. So guys, after seven hours, our deodorant is gonna look like this. Very nice and solid. And the smell is amazing. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it for you guys. And please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.